Hi, you are watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today we've got part two of the Bugs 2W, including flight footage. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we have the Bugs 2W review part two, including test footage. So I've got some flight footage, I've got some footage from my GoPro, and I've also got footage from the screen app. So, what do I think about it? So, let me start by saying I've already owned the Bug 3 Pro and the Bugs 5W. I also own a normal Bug 3, a Bug 6, and then all the other drones I own. So, the other week I, I did the 501S, which this is very similar to in size and looks. Now, I'm going to get some hate on this, but this thing kills it. There's no comparison to me. People say MGX are getting up to Hudson. They're not the better. This thing is much nicer to fly. It's quicker in the GPS mode. It's smoother. The camera quality is as good as not better. The only thing this doesn't have is 5.8 GHz FPV. But, and it's a big but, I've been 450 metres with this and didn't lose signal on the FPV. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, I'd have to say, this beats it. This flies so nicely, it's untrue, it's so smooth, it's quick, it's very, very agile, it does exactly what you want it to do, it's GPS lock, is fantastic. The only thing I wish it had was this, if they could make one of these with a gimbal on, a proper gimbal, well, we don't know where MJX would be. It's the only thing that lets them down, they don't have one with a proper gimbal on yet, but if they do make a three-axis gimbal and get it right, they could, they could be... A good competitor, I'm not saying they'll be as good as DJI, but they'll certainly be a competitor, a cheaper end competitor, because at the minute there isn't, isn't that about. So, these go for about 150 quid on eBay, very up and down. As I, I see in the part when I got this ridiculously cheap, I bought it off someone in an open box. I still recommend it. I recommend this over the 3 Pro. And I'd say, I only recommend it, I recommend it over the 5W because it flies nicer and the camera looks very similar, but the 5W is much cheaper. So, I think they're on a comparison. I, I definitely say they're on a comparison, but if you can afford it, I'd go for this. It's been out longer and it shows the age of the 501S in my opinion, the way this flies. The 501S is nothing like as stable as this. People are going to say, well, mine's really stable. And yet, they are stable. This thing's incredible. You've got to fly both to compare. And in my opinion, this beats it. This beats a lot of other things in its class. It hasn't got stabilised gimbal. There's no EIS. And that's the only things I could really criticise it for. But I couldn't criticise it for anything else. The controls feel fantastic. This controller feels as good as the new Type 1 on the 5W. It just doesn't look as nice, but... When you're flying with it, it feels just as good in your hand. Return to home, very, very accurate. Landed within a metre. Uh, on both occasions, I've tried it. I tried low battery. Return to home, that was absolutely fine as well. And I killed the transmitter, and it came back. So, really, I can't criticise it for anything. It records nicely to SD card. I've got, I had a 16 gig in it, and I had no issues, which you'll see from the screen recording at the end. Um, I'll see what I got from directly from the SD card. Everything works as it should. I had no, It's just perfect. If you take it out in altitude hold mode, apart from it drifts a little bit, you really can't tell it's in it. It's that nice. The altitude hold is that good. But it's a GPS drone and I still recommend flying it in GPS because it's flipping quick. It shifts. It gets a move on in GPS. So, what you're going to see is some footage coming up. Obviously, like everything on my channel, it's just my opinion. But if you buy one of these, you will not be disappointed in any way, shape or form. You can buy the other version. I don't have the other version. I think that's a, the normal Bugs 2. I think it's a C or is it an S? I don't know. I don't own that one. And that doesn't have the function of with the app. Now, it, I'd imagine it's going to record exactly the same and it's going to fly exactly the same. So maybe that's an option to look at. But because of the app didn't lose signal at 500 metres, I'd recommend this one. So, thanks very much for watching again. Enjoy the video that's coming up. Have a fantastic day. And as always, get plenty of flying.
So this is the video taken from my GoPro and as you can see how stable it is in flight. Unfortunately the GoPro doesn't have a zoom so you can't, I can't zoom in on the quad to show you how stable it is in the air. But as you can see it does fly nice. So this is the Bugs app. So as you can see the video has been stretched to fit on the screen. I'm sorry about that but it has made a massive difference to the quality. The quality on the phone looks fantastic when you're watching it live. So this is the bugs footage as saved to the video card and as you can see it's decent, it's quite sharp, there's not too much jello, I was actually pleasantly surprised how good this looked. It's very comparable to other things in this kind of price range and in my opinion it's much better than the Hubsons, it's sharper looking than the Hubson and it's also better in my opinion than the, the Bug 3 Pro, but you make your own mind up.
Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.